the discovery of water deep underground could tell us about life on a planet far, far away. Found at a mine in Ontario, it's the oldest sample of water ever discovered, but what really shocked scientists was the presence of microbes living within. So joining me now is geochemist at the University of Toronto, Barbara Sherwood Lawler. Uh, Professor, thank you so much for being here with us. We, we appreciate this, very exciting this uh, on this Monday morning. So these samples are found from Kid Creek Mine, uh, north of Timmins, Ontario. And one of them dates back a billion years, while the second is almost two billion years old. Um, talk to me about what led you to look for these samples in this place. Well, it's a very special part of the Canadian Shield. We've been investigating these kinds of waters deep in the ancient crust of our planet and doing it a little bit all over the world, in Northern Europe, in Southern Africa. But when we began to find hints, particularly from our work in South Africa and the gold mines there, that water could be really old. There we found the first hints that water could be tens of millions to hundreds of millions of years old. Well, then the obvious next step was to invite the team I was working with there over with us, come back to Canada, to Kid Creek. Because there we have, amongst the rocks of the Canadian Shield, which in that part of, of Ontario are about 2.7 billion years old. These are some of the best preserved ancient rocks on the planet. So if we were finding waters that were hundreds of millions of years old in South Africa, we hypothesized that we'd find something similar or maybe even a little bit older. But even there, we were surprised to find that it took us so far back that we're actually looking at fluids that had a mean residence time of a, of a billion years. And what, what kind of life are we talking about? What exactly did you find in this water? Well, it was really exciting for me because when I was in high school, we still thought that life on this planet was largely just confirmed always to the surface of the planet because, of course, we're taught life needs photosynthesis, it needs the sun's energy to survive. But in the late 1970s, we began to find different kinds of microbes, particularly the hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor. And those are microbes that don't need the sun's energy. They get all their energy to survive from the chemistry of water-rock reaction. And we literally call these chemolithotrophic, which sounds really fancy, but basically means rock-eating microbes. So here, deep in the Canadian Shield, it's the same story. These are waters that are two and a half kilometers below the surface. These waters have been cut off from the surface, far as we've seen, for very, very long time scales. And so, in some ways, not surprisingly, it certainly confirmed our hypothesis, the microbes that we found there were the same kind of rock-eating microbes. They're drawing their energy for life from the chemistry that's going on between the water and the rock. And, and you say that the discovery of life in this water can tell us more about life that may have existed on Mars. Now, bridge that gap. Get me from where we are to, to that assumption. Well, it's actually a really fun thing for Canadians to understand that the Canadian Shield is, in fact, one of the best analogs for Mars. Plate tectonics never developed on Mars, so the whole Mars crust is ancient, billion-year-old rock, just like the Canadian Shield. And in fact, NASA knows this, the Canadian Space Agency knows this. Before the last rover was launched, the NASA team in charge of the Curiosity rover came to Kid Creek. That's how well these rocks are known to be an analog for Mars. Around the time life arose on Earth, Mars was a much happier place. Right now, it's a cold, dry desert. But at that time, it may have been warmer and wetter. And it's at least theoretically possible that around the time that life arose on our planet, it might also have arisen on Mars. But a cold, dry desert now, there's no way anything's living on the surface. If there are any traces or evidence of past life on Mars, it'll be in the subsurface and probably associated with deep subsurface water. And so investigating deep subsurface water in Canada, particularly in the ancient rocks of the Canadian Shield, is one of the best analogs we've got for figuring out how to go about making those same investigations and tests on our nearest planet of investigation, which is Mars. Barbara Sherwood Lawler, congratulations on the discovery. One last question, and very quickly, um, did anyone taste this water? Yeah. We're, it's flowing. Right? This is a macroscopic phenomenon. We get <laughs> wet when we're taking it. We try not to, but inevitably yeah. it splashes up. So no, we don't taste it, we don't drink it. But inevitably, a little bit of it gets okay. on you. And certainly, the minute you lick your lips, you know this thing is salty. It can be five to 10 times the salinity <laughs> of seawater. It's rock juice. Oh, wow. Well, thank you.
<laughs> Thank you so much. All the best to you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.